For years, tools like iMacros have been a helpful partner to many professionals and quality engineers alike, in achieving great efficiency whether by automating day-to-day -day assignments or enhancing testing cycles via RPA tasks and web automation. Following the announcement that iMacros will be officially discontinued, we at Progress would like to help and guide you with the choice and migration to another tool that allows users to create, execute and maintain automated scripts regardless of their coding expertise. Telerik Test Studio's blend of codeless and code-based automation capabilities in an intuitive UI enables scripting anyone can use and delivers outstanding results for business people, web professionals, quality engineers, developers or managers. With the industry's fastest test recorder, its patent-pending mixed-element fine logic makes the scripts more stable and reliable while keeping their maintenance to a minimum. And that's not all, you can record, play and schedule those scripts on any type of app, web, desktop or responsive. Let's quickly cover the following real-life scenario with Test Studio. Start a web back office for online shopping app and automatically add multiple records, in our case, different t-types, to a table or grid, like name, price, units in stock etc. We will apply point-and-click recording, execution and scheduling across different browsers, use validations and, rely on data-driven variables for input. After you've created a new script, click record to navigate to the table in a browser of choice. Test Studio opens the app and you can record the script by just adding one record. Every keyboard and mouse action is recorded as a script step. You can data bind the script by using an Excel file for example as a data source. While doing so, you can use a variable for each record corresponding to a column in the data source. After finalizing the data binding, the script would automatically execute in iterations equal to the number of rows in the data source, thus entering all items in the table. To make sure the correct data is entered during the script execution, you can add various validations like verify or wait for a result of the input. In this example, we can trigger a warning message from the app, capture it with the recorder and like this, adding a validation via an additional step that the product name is not empty. The script will pass if the warning message does not appear during execution. Once a validation exists into your script, you can further reuse it within conditional formatting like if-else, while-loop, and loop clauses. In this example, you can make the script via an additional step, add a new item again if the item name was not entered for some reason. While we have created this sample script via visual recording only, you can also modify any step in code, both with C-sharp and VB.net, or just add a bank-coded step. Once the script is finalized, you can execute it ad hoc as many times as you wish, across single, multiple or headless browsers, or just schedule it for unattended execution at any point of the day. To achieve that, you just need to create a new list that contains one or more scripts and schedule it. The generated execution results can be observed via interactive web dashboard or embedded reporting section. Thank you for watching, and happy scripting!